Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're going to be playing some more Dragon Blaze. But this time I'm going to go over something important, something everybody has been asking me, especially new players, about the whole transcended weapon thing. So transcended weapons are actually pretty simple. Let me just go ahead and take off the weapon costume. Uh, they're pretty, pretty much trying to figure out how to do this from a normal weapon. So, first things first. Well, actually, yeah, hold on, let me go out of inventory, because I was going to get straight into it. Because these, this is what they were talking about, the transcended weapons doing more damage. So, first things first, fight. Chalice Gorg. This is where you get your uh, pieces. Seven Emperor Equipment Dungeon. This is where you get the pieces for the transcended piece that makes your weapon transcended I actually need to do that later but as you go in here I hope I wait uh, let me check and see if there is something I can create because I'm not sure if all of my characters actually have transcended weapons okay I think they do well I'll just make one just just to show you guys so come over to inventory, and as you go to inventory, whenever it decides to pop up, go to workshop. And when you get into workshop, go to transcended weapon, or well, transcended equipment, go down to here. You need 30 essence, then you want to go to register, then as you're in register, you would put add, then you would use these fragments cost this much then you would craft oh dear god I, I don't know even know if that's worth it which one has a lot less let's go for um ah, we can afford to use a little bit of staff not like it's very far but yeah then you would craft this into a piece that's just to show you guys that it actually works. This is how you do it. Then, alright, so now I have to change characters because this is a linked, linked gear. So, most of the thing you want to do is make sure your weapon is off you. Don't have it on because this will make your life a lot easier. Alright. And you click it. We're gonna take it off right quick, Koto. And yes, you can take it off at any time. It does not cost anything. You could put it you can take it off, put it on any other weapon or anything. So this is my piece. What I would do is the weapon or yeah, pretty much the weapon. The weapon that I'm about to transcend, I would have to have it in my inventory. Now I would drag it over here, put it in there and combine then boom transcended weapon then I would just throw it on it's actually pretty simple but I guess a lot of people didn't understand it understand the way I was trying to say it it really wasn't all that hard to be honest now if you want to like enhance it you would go back here and you would just actually just go to enhance right here and just put in the fragments it actually starts going up inside of um, costing for fragments and boom now as you can see from last time I'm adding on more damage and more to the skill that is available to it so I'm gonna do this too I just need to do this just because I haven't done it in like a long time. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. Definitely know I have some healing ones that I need to start using. Hold on. Hold on. Where is it? Yeah. I, I want to say it to you? No, you're the damage one. Because I'm using the damage set. Is my healing one on... Okay, my healing one is on the Paladins. 
so I need to do something about that sooner or later. Where is he? I think Momo has it. Because I have like 200 of this freaking thing. Which I need to start using soon. Yeah, nope, never mind. Uh, I'm thinking of something else, apparently. <laughs> uh, let me check my links. Because I, th I think it is something else I'm thinking about. Yeah. I guess I'm not using the healing at all. I'm gonna, I probably have to buy a separate slot and put the healing one in there. Why was I thinking Momo was carrying a wand? My special self. But my progress in the event shop, eh, I have one more to go. I think I'll get it by tonight. Then I can start buying up some uh, gold, start getting myself back in a good situation. But there is one thing I wanted to do in, in this video. Hey Kai, what's up dude? It's enhancement time, dude. And I think that's the only arc unit, well, arc overlord that I'm going to be doing for a while. Everything else I'm probably going to get to max or ultimate. But now, he does even more damage. I was thinking about Christopher, but Christopher is alright. Boss damage is actually pretty decent as well. But I just like Kai just for PvP and PvE. So that's the reason why I went for him. I'm not I didn't go for a pure PvE. Even though you could have. But since I use Kai in both, I went for him instead. Also, if it So yeah, if you're going for PvP and PvE, choose Kai. If you're going for pure PvE, then Christopher would be a decent choice too. But Kai still does like a pretty decent amount of fixed damage off of his arc, so yeah. It, it's really difficult to decide between them because they're both pretty good. They both actually put out different damage damage when I put them in the party. Like sometimes Christopher is over is over Kai and sometimes Kai is over Christopher. It really depends on like the world boss, I guess. Also, hopefully you guys have been doing this special event to get yourselves all these precious essence. Like they're actually worth it. I need to do mines after this video just to get all this. Which is gonna be real nice. Also, I wanted to go over the patch notes that I didn't get to go over. So, let's see. We have the fifth raid inside of the last area. The last dungeon. And this gives... Triple S gear. This is Fenrir. Fenrir. He actually looks pretty sick. I love it. He looks really, really dope. And here is Jack Black, Star, or oh, this is the Odin dude, the one that sits in the chair inside of the story. Oh god, we're gonna be finding him again. And not only that, we have raids going on again. And also, for those of you guys who don't understand the whole ultimate raids, I will show you guys how to do it. It's actually really simple as well. Um, this. I'll be starting on story um, next week, so we can start getting through it. Uh, it seems Challenger ha Challenger Dungeon has expanded, and Tower has extended. I, I haven't really done Tower. I'm gonna wait into Majesties, which I'm pretty sure they'll still try to buff Tower afterwards. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Let's go over to. Well, what was I gonna show? Oh yeah, Challenger. I need to say something about Challenger as well. For those of you guys who haven't reached Challenger, you guys have been asking me what's the best farming area. Is basically anywhere you've stopped in the story 
to where it is easy to complete fast and easy so let's say if this is the last place I've I've like uh, been and my units aren't getting like killed and it's not taking too long then I would be in this area whichever area it would be mostly you want to try and do bosses just because they give you essence transcended essence on like the red bosses so whichever boss area you can do do it spam it auto retry it as much as you can and also try to keep your gears up to date too by fighting the um, raids the raids are not like all that it, you shouldn't be nervous about the raids because there will be somebody who's gonna carry you like always or just bring in scrolls always bring in like those revival scrolls they really help you and a team to keep damage going so also don't be worried about filling it at, at all either because you still get points to come in here and um, buy stuff that will still make you strong so don't be nervous about doing raids in this game it's really not all that um, terrifying or anything but also this is where you get the badges for the ultimate some people have been asking for this I'll buy this ticket and I'm gonna be taking you guys into there you're entering with six other people well five other people and now that I have this ticket I get my one run so you would have to farm other bosses of the area in order to get those tickets to enter ultimate raid where you would get your U gear which is your ultimate gear with different stats on them and different like um, effects U gear is definitely worth farming do not slack on it Gear is like really strong into the next triple S gears come out. But unfortunately, I got a whole bunch of rookies. Jeez. Rookie bots. <laughs> they were still able to hold their own. I don't know. I'm not sure if I was the one doing all the damage. I wish that was something that they showed. Sometimes. Just to see how valuable I am to the team. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do um, ultimate raids I, I wish I would have remembered how to do that inside of um, inside of my guide videos I, I do apologize for that but I'll make this into a separate video like I said I'll be doing story on next week around like Monday maybe maybe and I'll also go with like the new patch notes if there are any but with that said Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. What you got to lose?